Hi, my name is Bernard Rizu. I'm from the National Archives of Solomon Islands. Solomon Islands. I, my job position at the National Archives is a records management officer. And that's just the job position's name. But my work is, um, is a both archive and like, uh, advice advice uh, government departments and uh, records management disposal uh, yeah sort of liaising with government departments and when to transfer do record surveys and then I do arrangement and description as well and, um, I don't uh, have formal training in the area of archiving records management whatsoever I'm learning I've learned on the job and uh, yeah there are a lot of challenges uh, that we're faced with uh, training is one and um, education as well. And uh, to add to that, a uh, backlog of unprocessed records at our uh, archives and as well as in the government departments. So this, it's a big challenge, and um, I'm taking it as a go on and uh, making the archive work interesting. So what have you been doing about these challenges? Um, what, um, what have you been doing about it? What do you try to, to do to um, combat these challenges? Okay, um, I think uh, the National Archives of Solomon Islands has been through a lot. Well, the country itself has been through a lot of tough times a um, few years back. And um, the National Archives of Solomon Islands had its uh, share of uh, problems as well. And for a good number of years, the archives has been understaffed. You know, from um, around 10 staff, it went down to uh, at one point just two staff working at the archives. And um, that was for, that went on for like uh, m almost 10 years, I'd say. The archives had been understaffed and up until recently there was a recruitment done and uh, I got in and most of us working at the archives now, uh, most of us are fairly new in the archiving area and um, in the Solomons there's no qualified, there are no qualified archivists and um, back in uh, 2007 there was a uh, the Solomon Islands Government Records Management Policy and Guidelines was launched. Uh, that was um, an assistance from the National Archives of Australia. Uh, they sent over someone from the National Archives of Australia and she did up uh, our guidelines and it was endorsed uh, by Cabinet in 2007. And one of the main tasks I was well, tasked with uh, when I started work in 2008 was to get an awareness on the, the guidelines across like 24 government departments and since the, uh, we're still working on that um, doing awareness uh, having workshops and going out to visit government departments and offices and all that and just uh, to talk to the staff and advise them um, and we found out that um, as identified by most here, the importance of archives is not widely seen by most. So, um, in the Solomon Islands government, uh, people are starting to see the importance of um, records management. So, you think well. you think um, you learned something from this congress that when you go back, you can make a difference? Of course, I do. I do. Um, Although I'd say um, much of what I've, uh, much of the sessions I've been through, they are like way ahead of us. Um, the information I get, uh, they are, I know they're going to be relevant uh, very soon, especially on electronic uh, record keeping and all that. Because um, um, though we don't have, uh, we're not so much into electronic record keeping systems yet. I'm sure uh, with the changing technology and all that, how quickly it goes, very soon we'll be getting into that and so I, I have a gut feeling that um, the information that I got here, well some of the information I got here, though uh, advanced they are, I know that very soon uh, we're gonna use those information 
and um, it's good to be aware ahead of what's gonna come for us I'd say and um, uh, generally um, I'd say um, record keeping whether it's uh, based on, on whatever formats books papers electronic um, the importance of keeping records is, is still the same and the challenge of uh, of uh, managing it and uh, and that is that's the that's the, well that's a big challenge I see so generally I'd say yeah uh, I'm learning um, a lot uh, from this uh, Congress. So how do you find this particular Congress in Brisbane? Well, uh, this is my first time to attend something like this, well, on the international level. Um, um, I've only been to one Congress, uh, well, the Pabika one, um, the Pacific Regional one, and uh, it was just uh, it, um, the Pacific branch one, so it was small and uh, it was different. And now it's the ICA Congress. Um, I get to meet uh, a lot of people from around the world. Yeah, um, get to share with a few, and um, it's a uh, exposure for me, I'd say, and um, um, moral boosting as well, I'd say. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to go back home and uh, go back home more equipped with uh, knowledge. Alright, thank you so much, man, for your time. Thank you. Thank you.